Hi, Jim from Raymarine with an Axiom Plus tech tip. Now, a lot of customers ask us about connectivity options with their Axiom. What types of things can they connect it to? And what types of connectors are available on the back of the system? Let's take a closer look and see. So we're looking at the back of our Axiom 9 Plus display here. And you can see the various connectors arranged across the bottom. Let's explore left to right. The first connector here is our Raynet high-speed Ethernet cable coming in. Now this connection can be used for a bunch of different things. Um, I can use it to link one Axiom to another. I could use it to connect an Axiom display to a peripheral device like a radar or an external sonar module or maybe a FLIR thermal camera. I could also use this port to connect to several of those items. Uh, but in that case, I might need to actually use an intermediate HS5 network switch to give me more plugs for all these different devices. But they all use high speed ethernet and it's a waterproof connector system that we call Raynet uh, to keep it all dry and secure on board the boat. And uh, it's very, very easy to expand the network through that connection. The next port over is a micro USB connection. This is used primarily for a remote card reader accessory. So if you wanted uh, access to your charts from the front of your helm, uh, that's a surface mountable device. So you can plug in your micro SD cards there for your maps and your data storage. The other thing you can do with this port is you can use our UAV app and plug this into your DJI drone controller. Uh, so this is how Axiom can communicate with your drone through this USB port. The next connection over is our combination power and NMEA 2000 connector. So you'll see there's two wires on here. One of them will run to the power source on the boat. The other one has a standard five pin device net connector on it that works in the NEMA 2000 system. You can also adapt this to SeaTalk NG just by snapping on a little pigtail onto the end and it's ready to work with your Evolution Autopilot, your Raymarine I-70 instruments or whatever other STNG devices you might have on board the boat. And this last port on the right is our Real Vision 3D transducer connector. So here you'll plug in either an RV100, 200, 300, or 400 series transducer. And that's the transducer that gives you high chirp, chirp side vision, chirp down vision, and Real Vision 3D connectivity. It plugs right in here. One last connector I want to make you aware of is a micro SD card reader that's on the back of Axiom Plus. So you can put a single card in here. This could be your mapping or cartography, or you could use it for storage for video recordings and screenshots.